what we're looking for in terms of phenotype on cattle that'll work extremely well on grass. You know, number one, we're looking for cattle that are very moderate in frame. And what we have found is that the most economically efficient cattle are gonna be cows that are typically in that three to four frame category. And that's according to the Beef Improvement Federation or BIF guidelines. And you, you can go on their website and look up the parameters for frame score. But again, the, the three and frame score are, are the most efficient cattle. And most of our beef cattle in the U.S. have been bred up to an extent in terms of framed up, we call it framing up, that they are frame score five to eight. And though, particularly when you get above a frame score five and a half, you're just getting into cattle that are gonna be, uh, require a lot more dry matter consumption every day, and they're gonna be harder to maintain. But a cow like this 660 cow here, you can see that you know, she's got excellent depth of body. She's a four frame, low four frame cow, excellent depth of body. You know, she's very sound on her feet and legs, sound in her eyes. She's got an excellent udder. So she's got a nice tight udder. Her teats are the appropriate size, small functional teats that are evenly spaced. She has, she's level across the top. She has a little bit of slope from the hooks to the pins and her pelvis area that would indicate that she would be better at calving and not have much calving difficulty. She's got some depth in her flank. She's got some depth in her heart girth as we see her walk out. And she has slicked off extremely well. So we see a cow that is nice and slick and has an oily sheen to her here in the, in the heat of July. And you can see that it's very obvious the cow is functioning well. She's very feminine in appearance. And that's obviously one of the things that we're looking for in our females. We want them to be very, very feminine in appearance. And that means that from the head back, they have to look like a cow. So we want a nice feminine head to her. And, and one of the things that we're looking for is a wide muzzle that denotes that, that she can consume plenty of forage in a day. Nice smooth hair across the pole. You know, under the influence of estrogen, cows are gonna have sort of a smooth hair coat, whereas bulls under the influence of testosterone are gonna have much coarser hair, sort of like the hair on a boar. Uh, so that, that would be a good comparison there for a bull. And a good cow should be what I call lean and clean and trim about the head, neck, and shoulders. And then she should explode back towards the rear. So the cow should wedge out and, and have a nice deep barrel and a lot of spring of rib or expression in that lower two thirds of the midrib section. So we wanna see a nice deep barrel and when viewed from the front or rear, a wide barrel, a very expressive gut or barrel to her because that's her factory. That's where she's gonna store for digestion all of that dry, forage dry matter that she's gonna consume. So that gut capacity that we're describing here is very important. And obviously, you know, this cow has a, a young calf by side. She's at peak lactation, but yet she's in excellent body condition score. This cow's in a body condition score six at this point in time with zero supplement, nothing but mineral and what she is eating out here. No feed supplement or baleage or anything like that provided to her. So she has to make it on these forages that she's consuming in mid-July in the heat of Missouri. So the things that we're looking for in a nutshell in a good cow phenotypically are very sound about the feet and legs, total skeletal structure, udder, mouth and eyes. We want to make certain that these cattle are shedding out and slicking out very well for the summertime, that they have a nice oily sheen to the hair coat, that they are not being adversely affected by either internal or external parasites. They're able to withstand a light load of both and still perform. 
that they have a nice deep barrel to them, deep heart girth, deep flank. They have that overall gut capacity that is required to be able to perform on forages without supplemental feedstuffs and that they have a very feminine appearance.